Well, hi, everybody. Welcome to our November um, team tasting. What we do is we get to gather as a group and we share this event out to any and all. So anybody can invite friends to come sip along with us. And then what's really great is that we can support multiple causes during our tasting. Um, I wanted to, before getting started and kind of kicking it over, to one of our amazing leaders, I wanted to do a quick introduction. My name is Laura Demetrio, and then this evening I am teaming up with Alyssa Marlin, um, Anya Fiducia, and Sarah Cunningham, and we are all going to share a little bit about One Hope, and we are going to do this by doing a tasting and um, going over our amazing tasting flight. So there's going to be four different varietals. So I'm going to kick it over to Alyssa and she is going to get us started. Oh, and first thing I want to say too is, um, one, introduce yourselves. So if we don't know who you are and you're new, please say hello in the chat group. And then also let us know what you're sipping on this evening and what cause you are supporting. I can't believe I almost forgot the most important part of this tasting. So now I'm going to cue it over to Alyssa and she's going to get us started. Hey everyone, welcome, welcome. Um, so what we aim to do today is basically give you the experience of what we would typically do in kind of an in-home tasting or a virtual one because we can do both with our businesses. Um, so if you are with us today and you are, so I don't know if this is gonna go, I might have to like change my video back in. Hold on, hold on. Uh, remove my background. I think you can see it. You can see it, right? Okay. So you are either following along with us with our Napa Valley tasting for two, uh, which you've purchased from your favorite cause entrepreneur, or you're just sipping on some of your favorite wines with us tonight. Um, uh, I'll just tell you a little bit about One Hope to get us started. So One Hope was started by some 20-somethings that decided that they were just inspired by um, the thought of really doing good with everything that we do, giving back more than what the typical wineries were doing at the time. Um, and they just threw some credit cards into a bowl and acquired about 168 cases of wine and started selling them up and down the California coast. Um, under the under the new company name and giving about 50% of their profits back to charity. Um, so they did that obviously way smarter now since that was definitely not, you know, on the up and up, but they uh, became an LLC. They uh, started doing this and now here we are 15 plus years later and we have donated uh, nearly $9 million dollars just over $9 million to charity, local and abroad. Um, it is just amazing. I get chills every time I talk about what One Hope does, all just by tasting good wine, right? All you got to do is taste good wine and you give back to charity. So anyway, so we're here today to talk about One Hope. Um, we're going to start with four, with the first of the four wines tonight, um, which is our California sparkling wine. It is, if you're following along in the tasting, in a small glass bottle. These are um, one of my favorites because I call them first wine. They're great for grab and go. They're also amazing this time of year for neighbor gifting or teacher gifting. Um, but this is probably one of the reasons why I fell in love with One Hope because I thought I was just, you know, a poor soul that was never going to like champagne. Um, and our champagne is amazing. It does not have that same champagne sharp bite at the end to it that you might find with other wines. Um, I was a, I was a J. Rocher girl, thought I was doomed to only be able to drink sweet sparkling wines. This is the best. I love it because um, it's all that clean flavor, none of that sharp champagne bite at the end. I can drink it straight and I can also drink it with like a 90-10 mimosa. So if you haven't tasted it, I highly recommend. Um, so if you want to go ahead and with me, pour your bubbly into your wine. 
I'll share a quick little tip bit here. If you're opening bubbly, this bottle, probably not going to be a problem. But if you're opening a big boy, full size um, bottle, you're going to want to open it at a 45 degree angle, leaving the most um, surface area for the bubbles to come to the top so it doesn't blow out the top for you. And then you can feel really good about your wine skills um, with all your friends and not having an, an accident in your kitchen. But the good news is, and I know someone will talk about this a little bit later, is we have a happiness guarantee. So even if you fumble in the kitchen, ladies and gents, and you spill your wine, we will make it right with you. Um, all right. So have you guys been sampling the wine so far? What do you think? Any good flavors? All right. Do you guys all agree with me? Is it like the best thing, best bubbles on your tongue? No hard champagne um, bite at the end. All right, I see some some smiles, some nods. Um, I just think this is amazing, Brute. It's sparkly. It's our California Sparkling Vintner Collection. It's available in minis, full size bottles, and our shimmers and glitters. Um, I think it's really nice and refreshing. Small bubbles on your tongue. And um, that's about it. I think I have to share about our, our brutes. Um, so I will go ahead and, sh and uh, pass it on to Laura, who's going to finish us up for our next wine. Uh, I would love that. Thank you, Lissa, so much for sharing. Um, as you're kind of experiencing the wines, I think it's really great is to kind of touch upon how you can experience your wine the most, right? So they always talk about having the three S's with a wine tasting. Um, so you're swirling your wine, you're sniffing your wine, and you're sipping your wine, right? So um, before kind of kicking it off with the Chardonnay, I just want to give you some of these little tips because then you can kind of use them as you are trying your wines this evening. So swirling, the reason why you're swirling is really because really you want to kind of have that oxygen hit the wine, which then brings out the aromas and also kind of brings out like the flavor of the wine too. And then sniff is when you really want to kind of smell, like what are you smelling from that wine? Uh, maybe you're detecting a fruit or maybe it's more of an herb or an earthy um, note to it or even like a floral note. And then you're going to sip because that's the best part, right? When you get to sip and enjoy the flavors of the wine. Um, a lot of times you don't need a big gulp. It's just going to be a little sip enough to kind of splash over your tongue and coat it. Um, and then, you know, kind of enjoy like what, what do you taste? Like, what is the sweetness? What is the acidity, right? Um, maybe there's tannins. Um, a lot of times when I think of a tannin, it's maybe like it's kind of tart, like a dry tartness to it. Um, but that's what you want to do when you're enjoying the wines is having fun experiencing them. Um, and it's funny because the more that you do it, um, what I have learned is the more descriptors you get, because I feel like when I first got started, I think everything to me was like, oh, it's dry or like um, it's buttery. But then it's like you start to really get into it and you're like, oh, I can really like tastes like a little grit to it or you know like it's just like your vocabulary explodes like anything um so have fun with it I think that's like the biggest part of when you are sipping and enjoying wines is to have fun with it um so let's talk a little bit about our Chardonnay this pretty little bottle right here um it is a 90 plus rated wine um, all these delicious wines that you are enjoying this evening are um, made from our amazing winemaker, Mari Wells Coyle. She is a boss babe, um, amazing goodness coming from Sterling Wine. She's a wine judge herself. And um, when we talk about these 90 points, right, you might kind of sit there and think like, oh, what does that mean? Basically, all of these wines have been in some type of contest, an amazing contest where they are judged against all of these other wines from other wineries, and they got really high rated points, amazing wines, 90 plus rated points and up on all four of the wines that you're sampling. This delicious Chardonnay is not your typical Chardonnay. Um, I love it because, you know, and I, you know, and I'll be honest, if anybody, is anybody drinking the Chardonnay this evening? And you can add in the chat box to you because I kind of have my screen minimized right now because I also have text that I'm putting in at the comments. So I am like multitasking at its finest right now. Right now. 
But I will say for this Chardonnay that it is unique. And sometimes you're either going to love it or you're going to hate it. Just kind of the way that I've always like explained it to my to my group, because it's not like your typical buttery, um, like oaky Chardonnay. It's a little bit more fruit floor fruit forward and flavorful in that regard. So sometimes it's like surprising. People that don't like Chardonnays will really love this Chardonnay. And on the flip side, somebody that really appreciates a Chardonnay likes that it's a little different and unique to what they've typically had. Um, this Chardonnay, and I'm going to tell you a little secret because I sound so fancy right now. I have these awesome tasting cards that I use, right? So it really does help um, to give me that information because you don't need to know it all. But um, the tasting notes for this Chardonnay is, and get this, baked pie aromas with notes of citrus, apple, and raw vanilla. And then when you taste it on your palate, it's rich and creamy. So there definitely is a, cream, a creamy finish to the Chardonnay. And can I tell you, like, I'm just thinking of Thanksgiving and the Chardonnay, like, this needs to be paired with, like, all of our apple pies and pumpkin pies, because that sounds amazing. If anybody else can think of a pie that you would pair this Chardonnay with, drop it in the comments, because I'd love to hear, um, but it's delicious. It's kind of like a medium balanced wine, so it's not light like a Sauv Blanc, um, but it's not super heavy either. Um, and then some other pairings that you could kind of pair it along with would be maybe like a spiced squash. Um, I'm thinking the sweet potatoes. Does anyone do those sweet potatoes souffles? I think that Chardonnay would taste amazing with it. Um, creamy cheeses that are maybe like a little bit more nutty fresh crab and macaroons. And then a really fun fact about the Chardonnay is that it's the mostly widely grown white grape in California. So I think that's pretty cool. It's a very popular grape. Um, and then before I kind of turn it over, I wanted to talk a little bit about our monthly promos. So One Hope always has the best deals for all of their customers. And I mean, not only in discounts, but in impact, right? So we have all month long, you always have a discount when you purchase four or more wines. If you really, really want to enjoy the most, then you're always going to want to order six or more because it does then unlock um, a purchase with purchase. And then every month there's a different purchase with purchase. So for this month, we have a um, special wine trio for the Thanksgiving meal. Um, and that is going to be our Frizzante Red sparkling wine, our Sonoma Coast Reserve Chardonnay, and a 94-point hospitality Pinot Noir, um, where you can add it on to your six-pack of wine, and it's going to be 50% off. So when I talked about discounts four and more, you get 5% off of four, you get 10% off of six, you get 20% off of 12. And guess what? We have even better discounts. So, you know, I'm going to make sure that Anya touches on our wine club because you're not going to want to miss what our wine club has in store. And um, last but not least on our specials for the month, right now we have a, um, a sale on our minis currently. So I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, I think it's 25% off on the mixed pack of our minis, as well as the Chardonnays, the Cabs, and Pinot Noirs. And I think I captured it all. So I'm going to pass it over to Anya, and she's going to tell us all about the wine club that gives back. You did an amazing job. I You did cover it all. All right. So if you have the little bottle, you want to open it up and let it breathe. So this is where we're going to give, or if you have a glass, pour it in. We're going to let it breathe for a little bit while it sits there and gets familiar with your glass, we're going to just talk about the wine club. So if you're here, that probably means you love being on a wine journey. And our wine club is just that. We love inviting others to join us on a quarterly basis to go on a wine journey with us. It's like a trip that has been designed by our winemaker. She looks at what we do during those three months of the season, what foods we're eating, what parties we might be hosting. And then she pairs the wine with the most commonly made dishes during that season. So it's pretty amazing. And it takes the guesswork out. Like, what am I going to serve? Um, and then what I love about it is you get to choose if you want a journey of four bottles, a journey of six bottles, or if you are like me and you just love, love, love it, 
you can do 12 bottles, which is double the wines. So I like to say I get to try one and then I get to share the other with a friend. So it's just a lot of fun. Why you might want to join the wine club is, first of all, free shipping. We all love free shipping. Free shipping, not just for your wine club, but anytime you order four or more bottles, you won't pay for shipping. Imagine getting two cases of wine delivered to your door for free. That's pretty awesome. Another reason you want to be part of the wine club is because you will get like exclusive wines. Any new wine releases, they get to be released at a wine club members first before they're available for everybody else to purchase. So this wine club currently, oh, let's talk about this. I saw Katie's drinking this right now. Love language, red wine. This is like a crowd pleaser. Everyone loves it. It's light. It's fruit forward. It is not dry. Like if you don't know what to share a glass with, with a friend, the love collection is it. Then we have Arroyo Chardonnay. And that one is zero residual sugar. So as anyone who's watching, you know, and trying to be conscious of what they're drinking and, you know, watching their sugar intake, our Chardonnay is going to make them happy. Oh, my favorite California dessert wine. So I'm in the Poconos where we get a lot of snow. What I like to do when we come in from the outside in the cold is I turn on my fireplace and I pour myself a glass of our dessert wine. It's not port because it's only, uh, you can only call it if it comes from Portugal, but it has that incredible feeling of richness and thickness. And when you sip on it, you're going to warm yourself up. And then we have a sparkling brute from the hospitality collection. So you just have this incredible selection of wines for the holidays. That's the four bottle collection. Now, if you go for the six, you will get Malbec, which is just heavenly. And this time of the year goes really well with all the dishes that we make. If you think of chili, if you're thinking of like roasts that you make, oh, it's just amazing. And then our Rutherford Estate Sav Blanc might be what Cass was sipping on. I lost myself track. Yes, it is. It's perfect. So that's the wine club collection that our winemaker will select for you. Now, if you're going to say, Anya, this sounds great, but I know what I like, then don't worry. We got a club for you. It's BYOB, build your own box, where you get to decide if you want four, six, or 12 bottles of wine shipped to your house every one, two, or three months. So it puts you fully in control of what's in your box. You can get crazy and change it every month or every shipping. Um, so we just invite you, if you enjoy this journey, and you would like every single time you sip on hope to give back to a nonprofit that you are passionate about, join our wine club. You don't want to miss out on your releases. And you also want to be able to support whatever you're passionate about. So enough yapping. Let's talk about Pinot Noir. Um, fun fact, Pinot Noir was actually not really welcomed by us as wine drinkers until the movie Sideways came out. So if you've ever watched the movie, it's a wine journey with two guys. They're in the wine country. And the main character will say, oh, I don't drink Merlots. And he only likes a Pinot Noir. And the reason he likes the Pinot Noir is because of how difficult it is to grow. Pinot Noir itself is a very, like, like sensitive. It's a toddler. If it has a meltdown, that's it. Like, you're done for the day. You're not going to sleep. But if it's hot. If it's cold, if it's too much rain, if it's not enough rain, the grape might not survive the harvest. The skin is so light and so thin that it can burst. So he believes in it in the movie. He's like, oh, Pinot Noir is so hard to make. And if someone makes it right, he like puts so much weight on that grape. So Pinot Noir for the holidays, if you're pouring in your glass and you swirl it now, I have beer because it's been that kind of day. So I don't have it. But if this was Pinot Noir, I'll put it up in the light. You can see through it. So as you are sipping on the wine and wondering what it is, when you're doing red, you'll be able to tell it's a Pinot Noir because you can see through. The other grapes, it's really hard to tell. And then when you swirl it and you smell it, you're going to pick up a hint of cinnamon, maybe a little bit of baking spice, and then it's going to be a very berry forward kind of wine. Um, so as you sip, then you're going to swirl, then you're going to taste. 
And I'm going to tell you right now, your Thanksgiving table should have a Pinot Noir on it. I call it the king of Thanksgiving because it's not going to overpower anything that's on your table. If you think about what you're serving, you have sweet, you have salty, you have vegetables, you have meat, you have creamy. So there's so many different flavors and it's actually a very difficult meal to pair a wine with. Pinot Noir is going to complement everything that you make. It is not going to take away from the star of the food. You spent the whole day cooking, right? You want that to shine. And the flavors are just very light, very earthy. And I guarantee you, whatever you're eating on this Thanksgiving, if you're sipping on a Pinot Noir, you're going to be in heaven. So that was my journey of a Pinot Noir. Sarah, I believe I am passing this over to you. Let's see. Hi, hi, hi. Welcome. Uh, my name is Sarah Cunningham. I am from Sugarland, Texas, and uh, very happy to be here. So I am going to talk a little bit. I'm going to talk on the Fentner Cabernet, but before I do so, I'm going to also talk on the perks of our in-person tasting events. So um, those in-person tastings, those are, I mean, that's the heart of what we do. And that is truly, um, you know, ever since, you know, coming off COVID, that is been the, just the, the feel good moments and those parties and gathering together. And, you know, you get so many people together and uh, with the common cause and friendship and camaraderie to have a, you know, just a fun gathering and, you know, serve a purpose and, you know, raise funds or whatever the purpose is for whatever organization you want to support and also share this amazing, amazing wine. So um, I have, I, since I came on uh, about a little over a year ago, um, I have loved, loved, loved these in-person events, small, big, it, it doesn't matter. It can be three people. It can be 30 people. It can be 300. <laughs> it's amazing. All the whole experience is amazing. So besides that, just connections, 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 number one, that's huge. Um, you know, I always tell, I, I always set two, three goals for myself in an in-person event. I want a connection for future events. I want new friendships. I want to meet, meet new people and uh, wine clubs, like Anya was just talking about. So those three things alone, if I can book, if I can get a connection to book another event in the future from one event, solid. If I get one or two wine clubs, you know, golden. And, you know, if I make new friends, that's my heart is full. So <laughs> that is that is awesome there. Um, so I hope if you have joined us that you are enjoying the all the wines that you've tasted so far. Our Cabernet it will be next. It is a lot. It is amazing. Like you've heard all the wines before. There are so many um, wonderful, wonderful things. This is a personal favorite of mine in every collection that it comes in from Vintner to hospitality to the reserves. It just keeps getting better. <laughs> so um, if you are a cab fan, then this is a must grab. It is going to be a very um, full, uh, full bodied wine and it is great. Um, with a beautiful steak. It is great with chicken nuggets. <laughs> so um, it, you will find it's got, um, it's full of dark berries and toffee and um, a little a slight, I think what I am attracted to is that there's a slight little vanilla taste behind it. And I think that's, that draws me to it a lot. And I really, I really feel that come out in our Cabernet. And um, just lots of very bold, lots of beautiful aromas with it. And um, 
you will and one taste and you will be a fan. I promise, I promise. <laughs> Sarah, I love that. Um, Vintner Cab and the Hospitality Cab, both of them are like two of my absolute favorite wines. And it's all about the chocolate notes. I'm telling you, it's like full bodied and delicious and smooth. And it just goes down maybe a little too smooth. But thank you so much for sharing. Um, so you've kind of had the opportunity to hear about, you know, our wine tastings, about our wine club, about hosting a fun party, and then also, you know, I would love to share a little bit about what we do as a cause entrepreneur. So we basically get like the kit and caboodle of all the perks, right? So we basically get to share wine and share hope and get paid doing so um, with an amazing community. You can see everybody on this call where we have this huge support system that's here to help guide and mentor you. Um, so let's talk a little bit about it. So some of the perks, right? You earn an income while you make an impact. So it goes hand in hand. So you earn 20 to 25% commission on sales. Um, and then you're giving back at the same time because as a cause entrepreneur, you get paid on your own purchases. And then on top of it, you can choose your own charity to support. So 10% of all your purchases then can also then go back to a charity of your choice as well. Um, not to mention the fact that there's no minimums and no quotas and no inventory needed. Now I always joke because, and you know, Ladies and gentlemen, help me out here if you are a cause entrepreneur. Your wine stash seems to kind of grow being with One Hope because there's just so many yummy wines, um, but that's your own wine for your own consumption. You do not need to have any wine um, on stock for your customers because they have the flexibility and the convenience to order from your website directly and have it get shipped to them. Um, and then guess what? This month we have some really great specials as far as joining. So um, we do have three different kits that you can choose from. Um, our two best is going to be our $98 kit and our $199 kit. And right now for this month, if you join with one of those kits, you're going to get an extra six bottles of wine. So basically what's going to happen is you're going to get um, an event kit credit where then you can redeem for six more bottles of wine. I am going to share all the details in the comments, um, but basically you're going to join with our $39 um, welcome kit, and then you're going to choose your wine selection. So there's a $59 tasting flight, then there's a $98 kit that comes with six bottles of wine plus that event kit credit for this month, or it's the 199 where it's going to be kind of all of that goodness that I just talked about, plus some extra um, wonderful swag. And then also another event kit credit plus another event kit credit. Like the list goes on and on for that big size kit. It's pretty amazing. Um, but I will share the details for you in the comments. And, you know, if you're thinking about it, I'm going to say like, why not? What do you have to lose? You know, it's the perfect time to come join us. You can make some extra money for the holidays. You can make an impact at the same time and make some amazing friends all in all. Um, so I just wanted to thank everybody for joining us. We are at the end of our tasting. If I forgot anything, Anya, please let me know. Sarah, please let me know. Um, I appreciate both of you and Alyssa for helping me run this call and being able to share all about One Hope and all about our give back. If anybody has any questions, let me know. Most importantly, make sure to get back to the friend that invited you to this call. And um, if you are there to help support their cause, or maybe you know you want to join that wine club, you want to host an event, or come join us, um, send them a message and they can help you get started. I am going to stop the recording. And then if anybody has any questions, feel free to ask any questions. 